The new update of Fortnite just dropped and it is awesome. They added so many amazing things, including 11 unlockable items, and I'm going to be showing you them all. But before we get into it, guys, if you think it would be awesome for the Renegade Raider to return as an item as well, like imagine hopping onto Fortnite today and seeing that you got Renegade Raider. If you think that would be cool, leave a thumbs up on the video, but be fast before it starts. But yes, guys, again, we got 11 different items to go through, ranging from emotes to skins to sprays a bunch of fun items definitely check them all out and also guys as for the challenge with the comments on last video we're actually going to be doing the last two videos so the skins were red knight and also power cord so i left hearts on a bunch of the comments that got those right and this time around i say we choose this skin right here so comment down below if you know the name of it and i will leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get it right on top of that guys be sure to use code sirs in the item shop and while you're at it click subscribe and turn on notifications because it only takes a second but without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into it here so starting it out here guys let's just hop into the items with a brand new mini event that's actually pretty cool I and actually now that i'm thinking about it i kind of remember them doing this before but either way i'm talking about the brand new refer a friend event that fortnite is going to be doing super soon now first of all just jumping into the items we'll be able to get a brand new spray from this which is this one right here the racer's instinct spray pretty cool overall you've got uh what is the name of that skin oh my gosh i like kind of remember it oh if you guys know comment down below but yeah that's a fun spray you've also got that same skin in an emoticon a little bit of a smaller award but that's still cool and then the final item that we're going to be able to get is a simple little banner icon again nothing too crazy there but overall these are three brand new items that we're going to be able to get seemingly by referring a friend but we're going to need more details on that because so far all we know is like the name of it and not much more but yeah we'll get more info soon on top of that that there was also released today a brand new style for the skin scarlet commander and again the normal variant is this skin right here and then the special style of it is this one so technically it is called the dark variant of scarlet commander and instead of being a scarlet colored skin it's now a greenish blue and honestly it looks pretty cool this is a simple skin overall so it's not like a huge change just alters the colors a little bit and i guess even the pattern too but if you have that skin already you should have already gotten the bonus style just by logging in today so super fun but then after that we can go onto the map to complete a new quest that has been added just recently and for this one we're going to need to go over to risky reels you'll see why in just a second and you stop firing at me what are you doing over there how dare you stop it so yeah we need to jump out of the battle bus and then head down to risky you guys know where risky is right close to the center of the map now that we're at risky we need to go over here to this specific alien portal and somebody's landing right behind me. They're probably doing the same challenge. Oh, it looks like it actually. So if you jump onto this portal, as you can see, you complete a challenge for 30,000 XP and it's part of the hidden rift tour quests or I guess they're not super hidden but they just released recently so like if we leave the match here there we go we got our XP that's so cool we'll go ahead and claim that and then go over to our quests this section right here so as you guys probably know they added these ones a bit ago but just recently they added these three as well or sorry I think there was four they added play matches with friends I think and open a cosmic chest as well as the one with the portal to get you a total of 90,000 XP. And then if you complete all of those with the ones that released before that, you'll be able to get the brand new Umbrella Glider that is like silver and metallic. It's a variant of the glider for the Ariana Grande concert. So that is super cool. The item itself looks awesome, but the challenges are definitely a bit tough. Now guys, let's take a break from the items and awards because I want to show you something else that was just updated today. So we'll jump right back into the items right after this, but this is super cool because it has to do with the background because as you guys know coral castle has started to be abducted and then with that there's also a funny glitch so for this we're just gonna hop into battle lab and then we're just going to head on over to coral castle i mean look at that it is in fact being abducted oh and check this out they added an io post right here that's so cool we can unlock the items and stuff like that oh and there you go there's one part of the glitch you can make the inflatable completely golden if you are wearing the midas skin and you 
drop an inflatable. I mean, check that out right there. Does it work if you just drop the inflatable? Oh my gosh, it does. That's so cool. Yeah, so that's one funny thing. It even gets the blue glow around it still, but it's completely golden. I honestly love that effect so much. But yeah, there's another chest over here. And if we go inside of the coral castle itself, it's being fully abducted. It looks so crazy. This update is honestly insane, but check all of that out. All of the things are floating. We'll definitely have to see if we can find some secrets for another video, but this looks so cool. Oh, and there goes the inflatable. <laughs> and then keeping it going here, guys, with some other awesome items. Inside of the files, there are some special loading screens which feature Wonder Woman. So first things first, just taking a look at these loading screens in and of themselves, you've got the one that shows Wonder Woman alongside Superman and also Batman. You know, two of the other DC characters that we have as skins in Fortnite. But yeah, overall, the loading screen is super cool. And then the second one, again, shows Wonder Woman, but this time alongside a bunch of other Fortnite skins. You've got V, you've got uh, Lynx on the right. It's a cool group of a bunch of characters. Now, again, since these are loading screens, they could be awarded for like a special DC event in the near future, but also it is likely that these could be released alongside the Wonder Woman skin itself as a bonus for buying the entire pack of skins, like the one that has the pickaxe included, the glider included. They've done that before, so I'm thinking that's how it is. It's like a bonus couple of items, but yeah, the skin itself is awesome. So a fun bonus is pretty cool. And then also, this is a really fun one because it has to do with toys. That is right, toys. They haven't really been released ever since back in, I think, season five and a couple of the following seasons in chapter one. But as you may remember back then, we got like a basketball, we got a golf ball. We also got like a frisbee and things like that that were super fun. And then just recently, they released another basketball and even a soccer ball. But really, there hasn't been that many toys. Well, according to iFireMonkey, there are a few more that are releasing, but not so much in the usual way. So as you can see here, there is a brand new variant for the basketball. It's got the Fortnite colors of like light blue and pink and purple, kind of the same as a loot llama, so that's cool. You've also got the golf ball, which is a super simple style with like the little Fortnite logo on that. And then finally, you have also got the soccer ball, which looks awesome. I mean, take a look at that. But again, these are pretty interesting because as of right now, they are expected to be creative mode items that allows users and map creators to let people use these items in creative. So again, they can't be used in Battle Royale, at least as of right now, they may re-release them, but overall, it's pretty fun. And then guys, let's talk about a couple of emotes here. These are both pretty intriguing because one of them should be an unlockable item. Now, the one that I think is actually unlockable is the dream emote. Now, as you can see, it seems to be similar to other emotes we've had in the past where a character holds up a sign with something on it. Generally, those are released for events. You kind of like gift them to each other. So I would assume that this one is unlockable in the same way. On top of that, there is a special emote inside of the files, which I don't know if it'll ever actually release. But as you can see, it says, hey now for NPCs. Used for AI NPCs. Should not be on store. <laughs> and obviously this is a leaked emote. But what's funny is that it's icon series and also says it's introduced in chapter two, season seven. And it even says it's a synced emote. So will it release in the future? I don't know. But either way, it's fun to know about. Oh, and also I'll quickly mention this spray right here. It's within the files, but we don't know too much about it. But again, sprays are never in the item shop, at least very rarely. So I believe this will be unlockable as well. But obviously we don't know too much about it quite yet. And then keeping it going here with another fun item. This one is going to be coming up in the very near future. And I guess it's not completely like a one you can unlock, if that makes sense. But it is a secret one for Battle Royale. Now, what am I talking about? Basically, as an example here, if we go over to... Well, first we got to go to the select a mode section. We want to go into save the world. Now, a lot of you probably don't play this mode. I know I don't. But if we go into here specifically and then scroll over to the store page, you will see that previously they had the lockbot pack. And if we click on that, it shows well the lockbot. Now, this isn't the skin I'm talking about, but it is an example for the next one that is coming out, which is Lars. He was a big character inside of save the world and he is going to be a skin that can be used in battle royale now again using this one as an example if we look on the left you will see that the lockbot outfit is also usable in battle royale and creative as well as the pickaxe and the back bling so if you decided to get this pack for save the world which it really is for mainly you'd also be able to use that skin inside of battle royale and that's the same thing with the large skin that has been leaked and he comes with a pickaxe i believe this one is probably his and also this is his back bling, which again should be usable 
usable in Battle Royale, making it a fairly uncommon skin that you probably won't see much. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now, such as going over a bunch of skins in the Season 8 Battle Pass. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.